My mom is just too good. She never takes no for an answer. She is always there for everybody, for her children, for the extended family, even for friends and well wishers. She is a caliber of goodness and kindness and humanity. I can't complain. I would definitely, if there's a life after death, or there's a, if I'm coming back again to this world again, if there's a world again, someone can be born again, I would like to be born by her again. I mean, we can't question God. What has happened has happened. We just have to do the best out of it. And uh, yeah, I think she's resting and she's looking at us from heaven with a big smile. Yeah, she's a great woman, a legend, an icon of it, humanity. That's my mother. My mom is a great woman. Is a mother to everybody. It's a mother for all. It's a mother that everybody really wants to have. You can't count my mom's children. You can never, never count my mom's children. But we give her the glory. She left us with a beautiful memories. A memory that we will never forget. A memory that will remain in our hearts. A memory that it will take years to wipe out away from each of the children's mind my mom is great it's a warrior it's a fighter in short in my life in my next life she remain my mother she will always remain my mother so my wish for her she should keep resting till we meet and part no more she's the most hard-working woman i've ever seen you know and um, she yes her name is patient she's very patient she's very accommodating she's a mother to everybody um, the, the, the times that I do come home for holidays, each time I come, I see one new face, living with my mom. That's to tell you how big her heart is. You know, she didn't just um, usually accommodate people that are bloodly related to her, people that she doesn't even know from Adam. She brings them home and trains them. So my mother is um, a loving mother. She is, she's very kind-hearted and um, she's a mother to everybody. She's extremely hardworking and she's the most beautiful woman on earth. You know, yeah, uh, I think one lesson I've learned in life is, you know, to remain very hardworking, you know, and um, to also hold on to family virtue, you know, and um, to raise up your children to be morally upright. She did all her best to ensure that we have the best education with the maximum support of my dad, you know, and um, she ensured that we are morally um, upright, like I said before. So I don't know, it's going to be a very difficult time pulling through, but I know that with God Almighty, we'll be able to pass through this phase. Definitely we're going to miss EA. EA is an amazing woman. She's so beautiful, she's awesome. Oh, my mom. In a word, my mom was a selfless woman. She was filled with love, empathy, kindness. She was beautiful in and out. My mom can give anything to her children and to those around her. Just give anything to them to make them happy. So she was a beautiful soul. Yeah. My mom has been my best friend, my number one happiness. She's a rare gem. She lived a well-fulfilled life. She's someone that I can emulate at any time. She did a lot for the children. And being the last child of the family, I had a lot of experiences with her. Yeah, while growing up, she taught me a lot of things. Being who I am today, it's because of my mom. I learned several skills from her, how to be hardworking. And that's something that I can't trade anything for. My mom stood by everybody from the beginning to the end. Now she has gone to be with the Lord. It's a joyful one. Being with her all through these years, it's something that I can really say I, a loving experience. Is. Yeah, a loving experience. My mom. She will always stand by the children no matter what. She did everything within her best. She can even go extra mile because of her children. And for my dad that married my mom, oh, he made the best decision in life. Marry my mom. Without me having her as a mother, I don't, I don't, I don't think my life would be what I'm experiencing now. Who I am now is because of my mom. She did a lot for her children. She sacrificed a lot 
She has been there for us. Even with distance and all, just a phone call, she must definitely do one or two things about whatsoever you are going to tell her. And I'm so grateful for having her as a mother. She's a strong woman, a woman like man. She has the energy, the caliber of a man, but she's a woman. She has everything we call humanity and love in her. A caregiver. And each time she goes to the village, she always comes with new visitors. Each time she goes to the village, she comes with new visitors. Always wanting to help. Always wanting to help everybody. All those who can help. So, she's a very wonderful woman. My mother, Iyenoke. I love you, Mama. Rest well and rest on. I love you, Mama. When I used to grow up, <laughs> my mom, <laughs> if I start talk to them, ensure that three minutes you gave to me will never be enough. She always tell me one thing, always love everybody. Anyone that you see around you, try and show love to the person. No matter how hard the person treats you, just be loved. And also be prayerful. Be strong. Temptation will come, but always be strong. That's what she normally, that's what she always say to me. And that is the word I hold on to today. I'm a great mother. I'm proud of it because I took all her hard work from her. She's an hard-working hard woman. I took those hard work from her. My mom taught me to be very, very, very patient in dealing with life issues, to be very, very tolerant, to always be nice to people, to not look down on people, to be contented, to be God-fearing and prayerful. These are the things that have, have um, my mom impacted into me that has made me who I am today. I've been married for 20 years. I will say this wounds have been possible if not for my mom. My mom stood by me through thick and thin. Whenever I have a small glitch, she's the safest place I run to. She will tell me, don't worry, everything will be fine. And before you know it, that, that, that encouragement, I'm good again. I snap out very fast from whatever I'm going out, going through. My mom, she will tell me, "Oh, there is nothing that you can, that you put your mind to that you cannot achieve." My mom was very, very hardworking. She was a very, very hardworking woman. Even in her old age, we keep teasing her, "Oh, you have to retire. You're old now." She will say, "No, there is no retirement as long as she's still." walking and all that so my mom was a very very strong woman very resilient yeah very hard working so these are the things that i've i've uh, my mom has instilled into me the attributes my mom has that i also possess yeah the death of ea came to everyone um as a rude shock because she wasn't sick but we just believe that um it was God's appointed time. I mean, um, nobody's going to live forever, you know. But one thing I've learned, like I said, is that um, He has taught everyone to be very hardworking, you know, to be patient, um, to be resilient, you know. So, um, yes, she's a mother to everybody. My mother took care of people that she didn't give birth to. Apart from the 10 children she raised that are doing very well in their various um, phase of life, you know, but there is never a time you come to our house that you didn't get any food to eat, even if you're not EA's child. That's to tell you how open EA is. EA is not just beautiful, she's amazing, she's hardworking, she's the most generous human being on earth. Yeah, um, life um, has come. We have to take it like that. We have to take solace because um, even in the Bible, God says that um, death is also part of life. So, I mean, nobody is going to live forever. You know, we, we will take so this in that particular part of the Bible. Um, we will continue to live um, with all the things he has taught us. We will continue to uphold the virtue she has instilled in, in us. We will continue to live upright. And we will never, there is no way, me in particular, I will forget all the things I've learned for EA, from EA. Um, rest in peace, EA. We love you so much, but we know that you are with God. When I got the news that my mom passed away, it was a big shock because it's someone that I saw just now and they told me that she's no more. It's a really a big shock. I was really, really shocked. But what to do? Who am I to question God? As, I, as people will always say, 
She's living in a good place and she has gone to a better place. 28th of March 2024 at about past 11 a.m. My mom's passing was was worse than a root shock. There's no word to describe that day. I felt my whole life crumble. My whole life fell apart because my mom was everything to me. Everything, I mean everything. She was my best friend. There is nothing that I do without my mom. Nothing. She was my number one strategist. So, uh, when I got the news, I had to rush down from Asaba to Benin. Took her to the mortuary. I saw her. When I saw her, I held her, even in a lifeless body. I held her so strong. I held her hands. Prayed with her yeah, before she was kept in the mob. It's a day that I have not been able to get out of. I would say I lived in denial for about three weeks. I couldn't go out of my room. I stayed indoor for that three weeks. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I had too many questions to ask because it came as a shock. My mom was strong. We spoke two days before she passed. We had planned my dad's 80th birthday. I had teased her, oh, bring this one. This is what you wear. We've made clothes for herself and my father. So getting that news when she's, she wasn't sick, it's, 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 it's beyond what I would put together in words. It's the worst day of my life. I've never experienced that. But in all things, the Bible says we should give thanks to Him. Because there's a time one will die. So that time I just felt, okay, it's the will of God for my mom to be home. So that's where I find solace in because I know she lived a very good life. She lived an exemplary life. So I knew she was in a better place. Though it hurts so deeply, very, very deeply. No one can replace a mother. My mother, she was my umbrella. So imagine you, you're under the rain and there's no umbrella to shield you. But oh, it's okay, that's life. I say give thanks to God. Because a day before she passed on, we had a birthday celebration. My little niece, she celebrated her birthday. And she told them that, ha, Osasu, since you'll be the one to prepare the food, I want plenty of fried rice because she loved eating my fried rice and salad. I said, okay, no problem. I cooked enough fried rice for her. Then when they got home, it was quite late, yeah? So she was fast asleep. She couldn't eat the food till the next day. They went back, they met her. Yeah. They brought the food you requested for. She said, okay, you can keep it. I'll eat it later. Then surprisingly, on Thursday, I was in the house. It was Kike Lomo that called me, the first granddaughter. She called me on phone at about 9.15 or thereabouts. Auntie Osasu, Auntie Osasu, where are you? Come home, come home. Ie, ie. I was like, ie, what happened to you? Because she wasn't sick. I never had anything like sickness from her. The last time I had the conversation with her. So when they told me, I didn't really believe it. Immediately I called my pastor. And he told me something. Are you with the Rhapsody? I said, yes, take your Rhapsody and your healing magazine. Take it to her. So that was how I met her. Inside the vehicle where they took her to, to the hospital. So while they were driving back, they had to wait for me being the last child. So I was in the vehicle with her. I prayed for three hours. I prayed. And there's something that came to my spirit. He lived a good life no matter what. So my, my pastor, I had to call back my pastor and he was like, do you know if she, where she is as at that time, if she's more comfortable with that place compared to here? So just let her be. She has gone to be with the Lord and she's resting away. In my heart, I was like, no, no, oh no. It wasn't a good experience. It was a rude shock to everybody. I never expected it. I never saw it coming at all. I never saw it coming at all. So as at that time, we did one or two things, but she has already gone to be with the Lord. But we are still grateful, regardless of everything that happened. We are so grateful to God because she didn't bury enough her children. It's a good one. She raised 10 giants, like 10 soldiers. She's 
She's somebody that when I looked at her face, I'll be like, Mommy, one day I'm going to be like you and even more than you. So, yeah, death is something that we don't wish for. It's inevitable. It can happen at any time. It's a shirt that everybody must put on. But one thing I will always say to people, my mom's death reminds me about the coming of Jesus Christ. It's going to be a shocking thing to everybody. That is why we as Christians, we have to prepare ourselves. Prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He's going to come like a thief in the night. He's not going to tell anybody that I'm coming to meet you. No, just give your heart to Christ. Live a good life, live a holy life. And at the end, when that time comes, you even smile, your family, they will smile that, oh, this person is going to be with the Lord. So it's something that we are still grateful for. We thank God for everything. Mama is loving, caring. She's a mother for all. When you meet Mama, you will know whether she's your mom or she's not. Her reception is wonderful. She will take care of you. She will welcome you like her own child. She's caring, loving. In short, I don't even know how to explain it, but I love her so much. I miss her. I pray the Almighty God will grant her eternal rest in Jesus' name. I call her Mommy Ie. You know, she's a loving mother. She's a hardworking mother. And she, she loves everyone. She's loved by everyone. Whenever she comes to our Sabbath to see her daughter, which is blessing my very good friend and his sister. You know, I'm always looking forward to this particular thing I usually do for her, pepper chicken. And she loves it. So I'm always making that for her. I'm always looking forward. Whenever she's coming, I'm like, is EA coming? I need to make that pepper chicken for her. She is just caring more than she, she's loved by everyone. You know, and she she has this um, bringing people together, you know, and I pray that she will keep the children will keep that bond together. They'll stay together because she loves bringing them together. She loves her children very well and she takes everyone like her own too. You know, she welcomes people. So that's the good thing about her. You know? Yes. Her departure was so sudden and painful, but I understand one thing. She loved God. And the God whom she loves so much has taken her to himself. We always remember her. We remember her because she was indeed a mother, not only to her children, her family, but everyone who comes her way. It is my prayer that the good Lord will accept her soul, bless the children, support the husband whom has been left behind, and then all of us too. He gives us the grace to move on along with him. So at the end of it all, we all win a crown of life and be there. That is the goal, to be there in heaven. We shall all celebrate and all shall be well. The least of what you can say about her is the much you have been hearing. She is a magnanimous woman, ever giving and giving and giving and never tired of giving. We've enjoyed her so much even within the CWO, she keeps giving and giving and is never tired of it, giving. Like I said before, when I gave birth to my granddaughter, not one, not two, not three baby clothes she brought, plus shoes and so on. And she's never tired of giving. I like her for her magnanimity. May her blessed soul rest in perfect peace with the Lord. This I ask in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord. Thank you. My experience with my beloved mother, it's unquantifiable. Uh, I would say she's the best mom everyone will ever pray for. She's not just a mother to me, she's my best friend, my confounder, what I can't even confide to friends outside, I do with my mother. My mother, my coming to this earth is a blessing because I was privileged to come through her. She's a matriarch. She's somebody that I adore and respect and I will keep doing that all the days of my life to eternity. She's an absolute uh, figure which I pray to have among my uh, children, my cousins, my aunties. She's lovable. One of the outstanding qualities she has is that she is patient. 
and she's hard working. If I should count my success story, I have to count my mother twice because she is a model to me. She's my pathfinder, she's a trailblazer, she's an icon. I said, said earlier, her attributes are unquantifiable. I love her so much. She wants the best for all her children and everyone around her. Not just the best, but she wants us to be at the top. She's the mother end, I would say. In conclusion, because you know what mother end does to the end. She protects the chicks against devourer, ensure that he eats. She's like a sacr sacrificial lamb to everybody around her. I want to say I love her and I'll keep loving her. And I know every, when, every day of my life, she's always going to be proud of me. While I was growing up, my mother has always been my tutelage. She nurtured me in the paths of righteousness. And as she will always tell you, there are no quick ways to success. You have to persevere, you have to labor, you have to put in your best and never give up. My mother is the true definition of a hard-working woman, a workaholic. And indeed, as I said from the tribute or from the eulogy I wrote about my mother, there are nothing that ever dies in the hands of, the, of my beloved mother. From her businesses, from her children, grandchildren, everything has been success stories to success stories. Countless times I could understand how she has uh, paved way for me to become who I am today. Uh, on March 28, as at 10:30 uh, a.m., when I got this sudden, this shocking news, it was like a mirage to me because um, I never believed it. But one thing about me is that I know after life here on earth we are in a marketplace. And after our marketplace, after you've traded your path here on it, we had to go back to where we come from. And why I'm happy today, I see her every day because she lives in me, she lives in all the children, and her legacy will continue to live on from ages to ages. I want to say thank you for this opportunity. I love her and I will keep loving her, as I said. She's the best mom and she's still my confider, even in her death. I still talk to her every day. Thank you so much for this opportunity. The last word for the children is that they must never forget Jesus. They should make sure Jesus occupies the prime position in their life. If they don't forget Jesus, they'll be sure one thing, all shall be well. All shall be well.